Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Tackle World. Hook up with a local. Yamaha, Jayco and Extreme Boats. This is iFish to Tackle World. From Mako Sharks to Murray Cod, we've got it all. Crack a day for it, mate? Sure is. It's the weekend, what does that mean? We're gonna go fishing. What are we gonna catch? Hopefully just some bread and butter, salmon, mullet, anything like that. Sounds like a plan, let's do it, mate. Bread and butter, I love it. Which way are we heading, Jet? Straight out the point. Beautiful. Well, Jet and I have been so fortunate over the last decade or two, well, since he was born, to be able to travel to some of the most incredible places in Australia. Coburg fishing safaris in the north, that was just mind blowing. Exmouth in the far west, all through Sydney, Queensland, and we never take it for granted, but the one thing we love is fishing in our backyard. This is where it all started, and it never, ever gets old. Belly bucket, I filled it with some fish oil and bread. But Dad, you're in charge of putting it out. Yeah, thanks. I get cold feet. Here we go. Ooh, it's a bit chilly, Jenny. <laughs> this is gonna be deadly. The trap is set and my feet are cold. Ooh. Do this, Dad. I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully there's enough run here. Got him on. Oh, oh really? Yep. Well done. <laughs> oh, look at that. That didn't take long, mate. No, it didn't. What have you got? I oh, it's an Australian salmon, Dad. Uh, yes, it is, a little Australian yes, it's salmon. it's a very small Australian salmon. He's all right. Now, that is a beautiful little Australian salmon. And do you know, I'm putting you on the spot here, do you know what fish that looks exactly like, but it's not? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. A Tommy Ruff. Oh, yeah, true. So in South Australia, and even in Port Phillip Bay, they get a Tommy Ruff, which only oh, it grows a little bit bigger than this, but the Tommy Ruff has a few different distinguishing features. Number one, see the Australian salmon, how his pectoral fin is yellow? Yep. I'll just hold him like that. See how it's yellow? The Tommy Ruff, his pectoral fin is clear. And on the Australian salmon's tail, there's no black, and the Tommy Ruff has black tips. Tommy Ruff also has rough scales, yes. whereas the little salmon's nice and smooth. <laughs> but they look so much the same, I once made the mistake on national TV of calling a Tommy Ruff Australian salmon, and I got a little bit of uh, mail. You get the other thing goes, well done, mate. Thank First you. First cast wonder. <laughs> Thank you.
Jen and I are keeping it really simple today. We're using squidgy 100 mil. Bloodworm Wriggler is probably one of the most versatile soft plastics ever made. They will catch anything. Highly recommend them. Jig head, just enough weight because we want to have a long cast, but not too much weight that's going to sink to the bottom and get stuck in the weed. Oh, yes. Nice, Dad. Got him. So, yeah, I had to slow it down a bit. Yeah, that's what I was... They're not... Oh, here we go. They're a bit smaller, Paul. Yeah. They're not loving the old huge speed. No, yeah, maybe they just need time to take it. That is so much fun. Crystal clear water. Beautiful, mate. You can have another cast if you want. Thank you. And that is a very small Australian salmon. I'd expect it fish here to maybe a kilo. He is just a pup. The size of them in Victoria is 21 centimetres. He's probably only about 15. But at 21 centimetres, they are sensational eating. Beautiful. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Must have been spat up by the salmon. It's good to know we're using the right size soft plastics. Yep, got him. Oh, nice. That come off the weed. We actually saw some fish on that weed line. As soon as we started to burly, they come in. So I've been casting as long as I could. And here's another beautiful little Australian salmon now. These guys have incredible amounts of omega fatty acids. They're so good for you. And the older I get, the more I watch MasterChef and what they do with fish that I normally would have tossed back, the more I like to try different things. And this in the smoker is going to be amazing. So this morning, I put a sticker on my bucket. And what I know is that from there to the end of the H is 21 centimetres, which is the legal size for one of these guys in Victoria. So I put his nose there. And I put his tail there. I can see he is literally just over 21. My mum always says small fish are the sweetest. And in the smoker, two or three of these, OMG. Put a stick on the bucket, know what the length is. It'll save you carrying a ruler. Today we're on the Golden River doing some electro fishing and science with the guys from the Arthur Riley Institute. This is Jared Lyon. Now to the naked eye, mate, what does that look like if I was just going fishing a bit of cheese? It looks like a Murray Cod, doesn't it? It does look like a Murray Cod, but what is it? It's a trout cod. So how many people get it wrong and misidentify these fish? We've actually just done some work on that and looked at a lot of our tag returns and um, around 30, 35% pick them up and think they're a Murray Cod. So that's a, a bit of a worry because these things are threatened. So they're a threatened species, they're protected, not allowed to take them. Now, what identifying features does a trout cod have that a Murray cod doesn't? I guess the main thing is um, the mottling's different. So a Murray cod um, is more splotchy, where you've got dots on a trout cod, there's a stripe through their eye. And also they've got a really pointy nose, and the um, top jaw overhangs the bottom jaw. Um, it's the opposite on Murray cod. There you go, so make sure you know your fish because ignorance is no excuse. This is a trout cod, identification is what it's all about, because you want to make sure you do the right thing by the fishery. Consecutive casts. Yeah. It's all about casting a long way. And obviously that burley's working. When we first got here, we were a little bit disappointed, weren't we? Yes. We just thought, oh, it's not gonna happen today. But the thing is, we've made it happen. It's so important, particularly bread and butter fishing. You can't just expect things to come to you, can you, mate? No, you can't. You've got to do the hard yards. Am I over yeah. here? Yeah, he's just here. Well, that's a nice one. It's a, it's a size good sized big one. That's actually a solid fish. Now, it's amazing. When you're fishing for little fish jet, isn't it amazing how the bar changes? Normally you go, yeah. oh, that's all right if you're fishing for a big snapper or something. But I am so excited about that because he's getting up around 24, 25 centimetres. And that smoker, I can almost smell the wood chip <laughs> burning already. It's going to be a good lunch. I've thought about 
about a few things, such as matching the hatch and casting further after seeing that little blue bait. So I've gone with a 12 grand little gomoku, and let's hope it can get the job done. All the salmon are obviously a bit further out, so I'm going to cast the gomoku jig into the zone and hopefully we can get one. <laughs> now that is thinking, mate. I love it. So they're obviously out a bit wider. Yeah, they must just be. Maybe there's not as much run as they'd like, and yep. they might just be sitting back looking for some food. Any chance you saw another gamoku in the box? Oh, I actually oh. didn't, but there probably is. Yeah, thanks. I might be searching the tackle box very soon. Is he good, one, mate? I'm not sure. He's not doing much. He's just sort of gliding in. Yeah, glide. That's all right. That's all good. I actually haven't felt the fish yet. Yeah, he's there though. There's a serious bend oh, in the yeah, rod. He's, um, he's going to come and do some work in the wash here, I reckon. No, he'll come around the rod just keep in your this rod little bay. I haven't seen him. Well, he, he just keep better fish, eh? Hey? Oh, yeah, he's got some... Oh, look at him. He's a good fish. Just slide him up. Oh, look at that. Jetty! Now that is what I love about fishing. Thinking. Seriously, mate. You thought, put the gamoku on for two reasons. Casting uh, longer, yep. matching the hatch. First cast, mate. That is gold. Well done. Think outside the square and you'll always catch more fish, doesn't matter where you are in Australia or the world. Guess what I'm doing? Heading straight to the tackle bucket to see if I can find a gamoku. Haha, -ha, look what I found. that for a while. Lost off. How nice that you're using this light gear jet. Yeah. Oh, I just felt a bit of a thump. So good. We've got literally a full power Maxima on today. Made everything as light as we can just to make it so much fun. These fish might be small, but man, they go hard on light gear. That's a nice fish, this one. It is, actually. Oh, that's a good fish. Look at that. That's about the third cast on the Gamoka jet. Yeah, well played. <laughs> this is just so much fun now. Living in a small town, do you reckon all the kids who go to school have any idea there's fish like this just on their doorstep? Probably not. You just don't think about it, do you? No, you don't. So you've got to get out and give it a go, because when you do, you just never know what's going to happen. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you've really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing. And today's the day you're going to wet a line. Cause every day's a good day Stop wishing Every day's a chance to drift away Drift away Every day's a good day for fishing See you down at Tackle World today Ta-da! Oh, I love to keep the keys up the peak Cause I'm a tackle rat well, if you're looking for an incredible fishing rod range that ain't gonna break the bank, I'm here to tell you, Shimano Sakana Sentire, they are absolutely beautiful. There are 17 models in the range, every one of them 24 to 30 tonne Torre blanks. It means they're super light but super strong. And I'm here to tell you about a few favourites. This is the 702 3 to 6 kilo, meaning seven foot, two piece, and of course, ideal for running three to six kilo line. It's gotta be one of those versatile rods in the country. You go up north, catch a barramundi, go down south, catch a flathead, put a squid jig on any pier and catch that as well. Big salmon off the beach, this rod will pretty much do it all, but there's a few more crackers in the range. I just love these jig sticks. Put an overhead reel on that, bash a few big kingies, snapper, deep drop, it is just gold. Then there's a six to 10 kilo bait cast. Obviously, two words come to mind. Barra, cod, it's gonna do them both so well. The 722 spin, one to three kilo. Garfish, absolutely amazing. Chucking little lures for trout. It is such a beautiful light rod. This is the 12 foot two piece, five to 10 kilo. Chucking little slugs for salmon, even a few big dart up north. Seriously, this thing is such a nice stick. They all come with Fuji K guides with a faz light ring that are tangle free. And when you get down to the working part here, all the grips have been worked so they're ergonomics. When there's a reel on there, it is so nice to hold in the hand. Now there's 17 models in the range, so you can be sure there's a Sakana in the range for you. Let's get to your local Tackle World store, check out the full range. I'm here to tell you, you're going to be impressed. Tackle World stores are owned and operated by locals who actually fish. Their advice is priceless, that's why it's free. At Tackle World, every day is a good day for fishing. Good boy, 
you're killing it, mate. This is just so good. Now, Christy and I make no secret of the fact that we went through four years of blood, sweat and tears doing IVF to have that beautiful little boy. And about a decade ago, we come down the beach here. He was just a tiny little muppet, had the best day ever. He was more building sandcastles than everybody did catch fish. And as a parent, you know just how special these moments are. Take some time out of your busy life. Take some time out of your day, even just an hour. Spend some time with your kids doing this, because before you know it, a decade passes. Then they want to go and play with their mates and not you. And you never, ever want to miss out on this. It is just the best. How you going, bud? Yeah, good, thanks. Good work. Oh, he's a good one. Here, I'll help yeah, you out. Well. Me too. Oh. Well, how the fortunes of a day change. I don't know if you can look over there, Hoggy, but it is horrible. It is black, and the sun is just shining on us beautifully. The rain is going away, and what looked like it was going to be tough, Jet, has now turned into a pretty solid session, eh? There you go. Look at that. So good. We can actually see the fish out there. You watching the drone when we cast? I sure was. It was amazing. We had the screen of the drone when we cast. We could see a school of fish. And that's just incredible. Beautiful, mate. This is just so awesome. I remember as a kid, I watched a show, Lord Howe Island, The Fisherman's Dream. I used to watch it every day. It was an old VHS. And this Japanese fisherman went out catching big kingfish and all cool tuna and stuff off Lord Howe Island with my great mate, Hal Harvey. Then he went back to the pier after a big day at sea and he sat there catching gars for hours. It inspired me that someone got to catch big fish, still love the passion of fishing. And to me, this gets the heart racing. My house is two minutes away. I'm here with my boy. It's a beautiful day. We've got the whole beach to ourselves. I just love it. And they are, Jet, a beautiful pair of salmon. Sure. About to go back. How cute's that? Oh, off he goes. Oops, oh, oops. they're at your feet. They're at my feet. They're all over me. Off you go, boys. Time to go home. Well, the plan was simple this morning. Have some fun with my boy and then smoke a few fish. So I grabbed the wild fish smoke out of the car. It's so portable, easy. I made a motor around it. It's actually on. Ta-da! As you can see, the smoker is so easy to assemble. Start with your burners on the bottom, put your methylated spirits in, light them, and then just build your way up. As simple as it gets. Now, with the wood chips, a real big tip. Today I'm using smoking dust from wild fish. It's beautiful. Always wet it with fresh water and occasionally, maybe even a nip of bourbon there just to give it a bit of extra smell. It is so good. If you wet it, it'll literally smolder. It'll smoke, it won't burn. Let's see how we're going. Look at that. Smoking away, this is gonna be so good. The other thing you might notice is a moat here. Two purposes, one, fire safety of course. The second, stops any breeze getting in, keeps plenty of heat on the smoker. Well, here's three of our beautiful little Australian salmon we caught earlier. They've all been butterfly. Just look how nice that looks. Not a bone in sight, some beautiful sweet flesh. So we simply started by scaling these fish, getting them ready. Then we removed every single fin off the body to make the fish easy to work with. Then removed all the guts, gizzards, gills, etc. So we had a nice body of flesh to work with. Then it's just a matter of slowly working that knife down and trying to work along the whole edge of that backbone on both sides of the fillet. Once you eventually get right down, don't cut all the way through, you can get under that backbone, cut it away, and then eventually slowly tear it away and you're left with just the flesh. Get a pair of scissors or a knife, cut through the jaw bones so you can help flatten the head out. Then the last little thing, just remove that rib cage so there's no bones at all. And seriously, that is a good piece of fish. When it comes to seasoning and cooking fish, there are so many personal preferences, but I absolutely love this when it comes to little salmon. Bit of cracked pepper, garlic and herb salt, paprika, couple of drops of sesame oil, and a splash of lemon. Massage this in and then repeat the process. There's gonna be some smoke in there. Oh, smoke is flavor. Look at that. Five minutes, I'll check on him. Time to catch some more fish. Follow us.
us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for everything iFish TV. And don't forget our website, iFishTV.net. Can you enjoy up the creek, mate? No, but the tide's starting to push in. I reckon we might be a chance for something different. I reckon we might. Now, your dad is a gun cook, mate. Have a taste of that. Go for it and tell me honestly what you think. As long as you say it's amazing. That's good. Mm. That is so good. It has a smoky flavour. Mm. Mm. And the sesame oil, that paprika, I'm going to say 11.5 out of 10 from the Russian judge. What do you say? I'll give it about the same. I knew he'd say that. Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Tackle World. Hook up with a local. Yamaha, Jayco and Extreme Boats.